estate agents, consider yourself warned, says HousingWire.com. Lenders, you guys know good and well what's up, so we don't need to remind you. You guys were the sole source of the major recession and continue to be punished and fined for it, so no need to punish you guys any further. But realtors aren't used to being held accountable. They've been the untouched golden child of the real estate world until recently, and I'm Sorry, Zill, I'm not trying to pick on you guys on purpose. You've just been in the news a lot lately. By the way, our Uberization of Real Estate show was shared and watched a ton nationwide by the entire real estate community. Thank you for that. But back to the Realtor Smackdown. The CFPB seemingly has their eyes set on Zillow. Let me remind you how the CFPB tends to work. They tend to enforce their ideals and rules via enforcement. And by enforcement, I mean penalties and fines and big ones at that. My friends and I, we like to play over under a lot and this possible find to Zillow would be a great time to play over under. Let me know if you guys are in. I'm sure you all know why the investigation is happening, but if you don't know why they're looking into Zillow, it's for their co-branding and advertising setup that Zillow's rolled out for years. The CFPB obviously has concerns with it. I mean, I don't know why. What's the problem with leveraging three lenders to pay all or the majority of your advertising costs? Oh wait, that's the actual definition of a RESPA violation? Noted. Attorneys at Locke, Offit, and Kerman commented on this stating lenders should see this as a clear warning that any arrangement with a real estate agent that is used to disguise payments for referrals will be critically reviewed by the CFPB for RESPA violations. I heard lenders, realtors, critically reviewed and RESPA violations, so enough said. They also stated the news of this investigation combined with the RESPA consent order against Prospect Mortgage and a few real estate companies, I may add, earlier this year is a clear sign that RESPA enforcement remains top priority for the CFPB. We've also seen state regulators increase their scrutiny of lead share and co-marketing relationships, end quote. And I know for certain their comment about states stepping up their game on this topic is very, very true. Here's the thing, guys, don't think this is just about exchange and referrals and think you're good. The CFPB will be looking at the advertising and marketing structures as well. We know the cost of advertising should be split evenly and the services rendered should reflect this as well, meaning Lender X paid 50% of the advertising but only received 10% of the actual advertising when released. That's a problem. And just cause Zillow said it was okay, doesn't get you off the hook. Third party vendors can be held accountable and so can you and your company for leveraging them. Offit and Kerman agrees with me stating it in a different way and I quote, in Zillow's situation, like any vehicle used for co-marketing or lead sharing has the potential to be used in such a way that it could violate RESPA's anti-kickback provisions. Now, sure, Zillow isn't the only third party vendor to leverage such a vehicle. There's certainly others, but remember how the CFPB works. They tend to pick out the biggest offender, investigate, fine, and then make an example out of them. So I'm sure that's why they started with Zillow. Well, that in their deep pockets. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind here. I'm not an attorney, thank God. I'm not even a compliance officer or an educator, but I do have some good knowledge on the topic. And hey, I'm not even saying Zillow's guilty. They could be, but that's for the CFPB to figure out. But I am saying, just because a major company takes your money and offers advertising and leads in exchange, realtors and lenders, doesn't make it right. I know it feels okay because Zillow wouldn't do it if it wasn't okay, but you can't rely on just that. I mean, really guys, if history's taught us anything, it's that giant companies can and will bend the rules and take advantage of people. Realtors or lenders, you can avoid RESPA violations by using this. I mean, you guys both have continued education every year that covers this very topic. If it doesn't sound right, it probably isn't. Implement and establish your own controls and checks and balances. Don't leave your fate in the hands of Zillow or really, any other third party vendor for that matter. The RE source was once again very early on this and we covered this with our good buddy Ken Perry long ago, which is why you and your entire company should watch us every single week. But keep this in mind in Zillow's defense, this investigation has been going on for two years now. This isn't necessarily anything new as some mainstream media outlets would lead you to believe. The CFPB merely asked for more information in regards to the ongoing investigation. So I don't know. You guys can decide if that's good or bad news for Zillow. Although typically longer investigations are a good thing, but who knows? Hey, share this with at least 100 realtors and lenders. I'm kidding, maybe it's just at least one or two. They need to hear this and we'll see you guys next week.